What's up guys, it's Lou here and I'm about to tell you everything that you need to know about the new iPhone 4S. Believe it or not, there was a ton of hype, probably too much hype, because this device is probably more similar to the iPhone 4 than it is to, say, an iPhone 5 that people were predicting we might get today. So, first and foremost, the price. You're going to see the same price point as the previous generation and you're going to see a price drop on the older generation. So the iPhone 4, as it was, will still be sold, but now it'll be at $99 along with a carrier contract instead of the previous one, 199. But you're gonna see a slight hit in the storage. You're gonna have eight gigabytes of storage instead of 16. Now you're getting a new processor. So internally, I suppose you could say this one is significantly different. Uh, the new processor claims to be quite a bit faster, uh, better graphics performance, etc. They're calling it the Apple A5 instead of the A4, which makes sense. The new incarnation, of course. The next thing is a much better camera. From watching the live blog and taking a look at some of the technology there, they've added um, a few extra megapixels, but then you've also got an improvement in the sensitivity of the sensor. So you've got an eight megapixel camera now instead of the previous five. And um, very excited to see results of that once this thing actually hits. Next, we've got an improvement in video performance of that same camera. It's gonna be able to shoot at 1080p instead of 720p. It'll do so at 30 frames per second. And you know, Apple has said in their, in their keynote that they're really going after the camera market. They're not worried about necessarily being the best camera on a smartphone, but that they think this new camera can really compete against proper point and shoots. We'll, we'll have to wait and see if that's the truth. The next thing that is actually kind of surprising is that this one is actually a little bit heavier than the previous model. And uh, some have suggested that's because this one is a legitimate world phone. It's got both GSM and CDMA antennas in it internally. So pretty cool stuff. Um, most of uh, what the, the other things that got mentioned in the keynote were relating to software improvements in iOS 5, that being the new operating system. But I'm not really gonna cover those in this particular video only because most of those features and functions are going to be available to people on the older hardware. So really all that we've seen is some very minor tweaks to the hardware, nothing you know shattering. And so you know, I guess if you were sitting around waiting for some major announcement, some major um, iPhone 5 redesign, et cetera, then this might be disappointing to you, but um, Apple does have a point in saying that the iPhone 4 is incredibly successful and um, it does do many things right. Um, they've also claimed to you know, fix that antenna issue. It was supposedly widespread. I've met people who have experienced the issue and others who haven't. You know, It's sort of up in the air, <laughs> no pun intended, but um, they claim to have improved it by allowing for antenna switching so that the antenna can pick between which and uh, antenna has better reception. So if one happens to be covered by your hand, then automatically the phone will select the other antenna as far as, um, as, far as trying to receive signals. So pretty cool stuff, but I gotta say I, I'm, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but you don't have to worry. I'm gonna pick up this phone anyways. It's gonna be featured here on the channel. So definitely you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button up above. I'll put an annotation over here too, because the day that it hits, the moment that it comes out, I'll be with you the whole way and I'll give you the highest quality unboxing, review and comparison that is humanly possible. So anyway guys, um, as always, thanks for watching and I hope you stick around the channel. I hope you subscribe. As I said, I got a lot of coverage on this phone coming up. We can find out if it is as underwhelming as it seems at the moment or if this new processor is seriously a big improvement. All right, guys, see you later.